It was a race to the finish, but the new Regional Science and Technology Center at Dobbins Bennett High School is officially open. It's business as usual here as we, you know, as, as much as it can be on a first day of school in a new space. In the weeks leading up to the start of school, this area was covered in construction equipment, but now that's been cleared away and students are able to use the new space on their first day back at class. We have 2,200 students that are arriving to Dobbins Bennett for the first time today and seeing this new facility. The $20 million, 70,000 square foot addition faced construction delays this spring due to heavy rain. Freshman orientation had to be called off last week because parking lot construction wasn't complete. Uh, we felt it wasn't a safe environment for, you know, hundreds of cars to come onto campus for orientation. So we shifted that. You know, this first day, it's been a lot of uh, helping students find where they needed to go. You know, new traffic patterns, not only for foot traffic inside the building, but also car traffic outside. Now that students are filling the new space, teachers can teach like never before. Chris Krautkramer has been teaching at Dobbins Bennett for 17 years. Her new classroom is unlike any she's ever had. This door opens so we can pull it all the way open and so my co-teacher and I can open and we can share the space. Classrooms with movable walls mean her AP biology lessons will never be the same. We have a technology enriched space ne right next door and so we can go over there. It's going to broadcast all around the room. The kids can be working on different things. Very techy. So while students are learning robotics, chemistry and biology, teachers are making discoveries of their own we'll learn how to use it even better. But immediately we can think of 20, 30 different ways that we can do work that we couldn't do before. In Kingsport, Kaylin Cluck, News Channel 11.